Hey, I'm the Gamer. Welcome back to Farm Sim 19, Valley, Old Farm, episode number two. As we talked about extensively last time, our economy relies heavily, heavily early on on timber. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to spend a good amount of time in the timber industry to make the short-term funds that we need in order to cover daily expenses and the daily interest. So we know we need to make 3000 but also we want to line and uh, fertilize our fields before cultivating. And so we're going to go ahead and begin that first sequence of trying to bring in some funding. So we're here at the sawmill. The cell point is somewhere right in here. Back around that corner. So we're going to start just right back here and start taking down some trees. We're going to change the length. I forget which key it is to change the cutting. Uh, um, yeah. And I use gamepad for this part. And I don't remember what the keyboard one is. So for anyone who's done forestry before, you may have noticed that depending on what equipment you are using, the controls are flipped for one piece or another. So I'm currently undergoing a little bit of difficulty trying to adjust to a different set of controls here with the uh, Ponce Elephant King versus what I'm used to using, which is like the Steppa. Uh, where a couple sets of the controls not only are reversed, swapped with one another, but they're also a little bit on the inverted side to where up is down, down is up, and that really doesn't help anything. Those logs didn't land the best. They kind of fell out. That's what happens when you're trying to grab more than one at a time. Start with a small load here. Actually see kind of how much money we're able to get. That's one of those opposites that I'm talking about. Here down is down, but here up is down. But unlike the step of that generally can only really load one lug at a time, here we could definitely get a whole tree at once. Oh, wrong direction, wrong direction. All right, not a big load, but it's in there awkwardly enough. Let's. Go sell this real quick and see kind of how much money there is in. I don't know what is that? Four trees? Five trees? I'm dragging, aren't I? I am. Four. Right? Four. My rear end is dragging on the ground. All, not all the trees are in here. How you'd want them to be. It's a short distance. It's 
on this map we have a wood chip cell point and a full blown log cell point which is here. Hopefully we can take them straight off the trailer. And it did. Oh nice, 16,000 for that. I think that was about four trees. That's it. That easily covered the interest and gave us nearly 20,000 in lime, fertilizer, and seed money. So, Dad, we might not need to cut a whole lot today. Uh, we might be able to move on to uh, starting the lime and fertilizing soon. Close that back down. Doesn't need to be so wide. So pack them in a little bit tighter. Let's go where we're facing downhill. Better chance that they'll fall inside. The challenge is definitely trying to keep them on the trailer with the uh, the length, but the pay is much better and works out well enough. Come on, there you go, go down. Over. Oops. The big trees. Yeah. Hence the uh, nice pay. I guess this is a better way. Then, oh, 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 there's that opposite issue again. <laughs> Let go. The up, down, down, up. Let me strap these guys on. There we go. Grab these guys.
do like the controls, the stability, the options. It's better than the trailer we're use I'm used to using. I just wish the controls were the same. <laughs> because that's where I'm running into the problem. Come on, let go. Kind of stacking them over the top of the uh, front guardrail because they're too long and falling out the back. Well, that's why I say we need to do a semi trailer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, when we get enough money, that would be a, a very helpful addition. Okay, before I lose that whole stack, let's take another small trip. Oh, I think I'm losing one of them. Lift it up a little higher. This was just It's only about a dozen logs. So yeah, I think it's three trees is all. If I'm correct, that should put us at about 12,000. Meaning each tree is paying about 4,000 right now. Yes, 12,000. So each tree is worth about 4,000. And that's definitely enough to get us started. So. Uh, Dad, I don't know if you're going to want to switch and take a couple more loads. But I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to hop over and uh, start liming the fields that need lime in the north. So I'm going to hop into our John Deere lime spreader. So I'm going to have to figure out where lime is on the map. I'm not sure at this point. All right, so I'm pulling into the shop. I'll hop out here real quick. We're going to make a little purchase. We're going to get some lime. So it comes in the big bags. Uh, I haven't found a sell point otherwise on the map. It might be there somewhere. But let's see. How much is in each one? 2,000. That's not going to go terribly far. I'm going to get at least two for now. This is gonna I don't know how quick it goes. I haven't used lime in a long time time actually but we need to get the most we can out of all of these fields all right so it's 40 percent full but it's enough we'll turn off fertilization turn off weeding nothing needs plowing anymore in the northern area so one two five 17, 18, 19, 34, 35, 48, 45, and 22, which is half cattle. All uh, right, we're close. Right. I'm going to take these. That's a lot of logs. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll head towards five. I thought we didn't have to start. Oh, I turned that to... 
I turn that back to normal. That and turning the traffic back on. Okay, sh shortcut across the field here. Yeah, there's five right there. Now, where did you take this to? On the uh, around the back there? side of the building. So the the building to the east, the main building. Now, this has a really big spread rate, but I haven't used it before. This is the uh, John Deere R4045. Back side of the main building, the one to the east. Past the cat here in the front loader. Yes. Okay. I had a spread where these logs it. are. All right. Spread it's good, but not great. Is it right here where these rows of logs are? Yes. Yeah, there should be. You should be able to see the construction uh, box. Okay, yeah, I got it. And there's an info. Yep. Between yeah. the river and the back of the building. Okay. Gotta get out. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going so fast. <laughs> Eight thousand four hundred thirty-five. Two trees. Two trees. Yeah, it's about four thousand per tree. And speaking of this lime, is not stretching very far for us. Uh, okay, I had to go uphill. That hurt us. I was able to go a lot faster here. Oh yeah, it's much better when I'm not going uphill. I've just for the lime, I've got to make sure that I'm not going uphill. This trailer loses a lot of speed. It's not a strong tractor like our others. So not quite finishing one field cost us $3,000 in line. The spread rate and everything really is difficult and we didn't even get 100% of the field done. So I hopped on a calculator, did some quick research, and the cost per field is exceeding the profit increase so to put lime down once for one year's harvest isn't good. Now if you were you only have to use it once every three years. So for that, it's really not bad. That fifteen percent bonus that you're getting three times over pays for itself the second time you harvest and starts to get into that profit range and exceeds that profit the third time. So it's profitable if you're doing three harvests. It's not if you're doing one harvest. So that field was the only one we're going to end up putting lime on and we're now going to switch to the solid fertilizer which spreads a bit slower and comes with a 25% bonus for each fertilization stage. So that's three that's four, five, six, seven, no more money. <laughs> okay, I'll have to fill up with that for now. And another load from our tree harvest. We'll have to uh, go to help with this. Uh, we spent 28 thousand dollars on a new trailer the Ponce Elephant King as you saw uh, as I was loading it 
works nice, but for eight meter logs, it's too short. And you want the eight meter logs because they, A, they pay better, and B, you're shortening your workload by having to lift up fewer logs. So eight meter is good. That short trailer is bad. So the fix was a large semi-trailer. If one tree is 4,000, we'll make up that 28,000 pretty quick. But it does mean we need to do a little more logging today. I'm going to take this fertilizer out to the fields to get started here in just a moment. I'll use time lapse for that function, as I'm sure you've seen someone fertilize a field before, right? Right.
the line, 15% bonus, but very, very expensive to apply, and is broken down over three harvests to be worth it. As we're doing one year, and that's our deadline, that's one harvest. So it's not worth it to do the lime. So we did one field, and that's going to be that. Fertilizer is another story. Every application of fertilizer is a 25% yield bonus. It's not cheap, though. We just did three complete large fields for almost 4,000 fertilizer. But three large fields for that, I mean, that's compared to the average field on the map. That is probably $700 per field, $800 per field. Based on kind of the average size, as those are definitely above average fields that we just completed. So 25% bonus for... Let's see if it's 750. It's 2,000 for per thousand liters, so it's 1,500 bucks a field per application. 3,000 by the end of the field. But if you're getting 30,000 dollars out of a field, you put 3,000 into it for a 50% yield bonus. That 3000 you're getting your money's worth. You're getting that money back. So having the wider spread rate, going through it much slower, really makes a difference compared to the line. Again, the line, it really takes those three times doing it before you're going to see your value. But the fertilizer, still not cheap. So you've got to use it sparingly. You've got to be careful. If you might have noticed what I was doing there was I was kind of running in laps. I was going downhill with it. Uphill with it, still burning through it pretty quick. Using it up pretty quick. Decreasing the value. So I was making sure that when and where, everywhere I could, I was going downhill with the fertilizer and occasionally I missed thin, thin strips. It's not worth it to go back and get that because you're going to lose that money. And when we're dealing with a $3 million debt that we've got to overcome in one year, one harvest, We've got to do what we can to make every penny count. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to continue on with fertilization into our other fields. A few in this north area, 14, 19, 22, 47, already have max 100% fertilization. Everybody else needs to be fertilized. So... I'm going to be moving on to 2 and 6, and then I'll do 10, 11, 12, I'll do 3, 1, 7, and 8. It's going to take us a while, but we'll get through them. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.